bottom of your heart. Of Judah has broken everything. He
for so many years. Stagnant in one particular position. These people are not expanding. They cannot express themselves. They cannot even use the talent God has given to them. This set of people are permanently confined to one position, struggling to arrive. When things are not working well for you, beloved, it is important to come to God. Because in God lies the solution to every problem, every predicament. There is nothing he cannot do. So when the demons or the Lucifer himself fires an arrow, because that is their business, they roam about every day looking for who to destroy, looking for who to initiate, looking for who to cause more trouble. And a lot of believers have received arrows unknown to them. Arrows are spiritual invisible attacks. They don't come physical sometimes. They come in the spirit realm. We were in a church, in a fellowship many years ago, and all of a sudden, the leg of my president started bleeding. No injury, nothing, nothing. It just started bleeding for no reason. But thank God for discernment. While we were in the church praying, an arrow was fired to this brother's leg. And all of a sudden, his leg started bleeding. But thank God he prayed. He, he, he understood the atmosphere and he offered a simple prayer. And that prayer caused the bleeding to cease. Arrows are attacked from the kingdom of darkness to specific or unspecified targets. So sometimes they can be specific, sometimes they cannot, they are not specific. When we say they are specific, it means they are targeted on those they intend to harm. Okay, this particular person will want to harm this person. So they send an arrow, and when this arrow comes, it turns things upside down. I pray to God that every arrow the enemy has fired into our life will backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's turn quickly to Psalm 7, 16. Another person, Psalm 91, verse 5. I will want the congregation to also read for me. You are projecting, project Psalm 91, verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by the This is God speaking to you. That you should not be afraid for the arrow. The arrows will fly in the morning, they will fly in the noon, they will also fly in the night. But God is giving you confidence that you should not be afraid for them because his shield is constantly and regularly covering you wherever you go. And if by mistake any arrow has been fired into your life, tonight they will backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Quickly, before we pray, let us look at the classification of arrows. We have the arrow of failure. In the news, yesterday I I read about a boy that has been in primary one for 15 years. They, they projected this picture for 15 good years in primary one. The Bible said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. The parents of that child might be beating him up and down, but they don't know 
that the beating will not stop the problem. There's a verse of the Bible that says, When a man fully harmed, God is going out. His goods are in peace. But when a stronger man comes, he will overcome him and spoil his goods. That strong boy needs the strong man. And so is the capital Jesus. And that Jesus is present in this auditorium to destroy anything he has not planted in you. I don't know what is arrow of stagnation. Constantly tied to one position in life. No progress. Then arrow of unexplainable problem. You cannot just explain the problem. You can't. Arrow of unexplainable problem. Then arrow of untimely death. Listen, there is a family. I've shared this before. Nobody lives above 50 years in that family. Once you are 49, prepare for your death. This is true life story. That was how death was killing. The arrow was fired into the family and nobody was strong enough in that family to break that yoke. If there is anything that has been troubling your family, you will be the one to break it tonight. Yeah. 49. In fact, that pension of death will even kill them before the fifth. But death kept killing them until it got to a particular brother that said no. Me, it will not happen. The brother ran to church. He began to pray. He began to pray and they pray. And as I speak with you, that young man is still living. Glory of God. Then another one is arrow of suicidal tendencies. Always contemplating suicide. Why am I insisting? Then another one is arrow of demotion. I know a brother that has been promoted and demoted several times for no reason. If he asks, there is no reason. Today, manager, tomorrow they will bring him down to the level of uh, the ticket, to the writing ticket for people. Then they will bring him like that. And then when we ask him questions, we discover that the same thing happens to his father. The young man that has built house and sponsored people to school. And that's what he told me. He said, I, he said, money are free to pay me now is what I use for recharge cards. Somebody that has earned millions of nairas, as I speak with you, is doing 15,000 naira job in a month. Life has beaten and battered that person. God will rescue us before things get up. Pattern. What a 
happened to your parents is also happening to you. You are going to pray. Every pattern in my lineage, every pattern in my family, I break away from your host. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Amen. You are not praying. Say, my father. Yeah. 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 Then we have 
have the arrow of generational stronghold. Arrow of generational stronghold.
and there is a song that says, Satan, pack your load, Satan, pack your load, Satan, pack your load, and live my life. I think that was the song I was supposed to sing. Then, and then when the brother came, he sang that song and we prayed that everything went to no mercy. Rise up on your feet. We have me to pray tonight, brethren. I have so many prayer points, we have few minutes to pray them. But I want you to pray this prayer point with all aggression. Take this song and then you are to pray. Evil man will go back to your center. Evil man will go back to your center. Evil man will Listen, close your eyes, but don't close your mouth. Close your eyes, but don't close your mouth. And make use of your hands effectively. As you sing the song, the arrows that have been fired into your life will begin to magnify.
So package our offer, we will come back because of this one and say we are already our time is already up, but we will come back tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Uh, while they are sharing the envelope, I just want to say to you that if what you have encountered today, if you want more of it, uh, I like what my pastor said yesterday. He said yesterday was what? He said that uh, tomorrow will be what time which is today. He said there will be the what day. If I were you, whatever I have that will make me to miss tomorrow, I will not allow it. And I will not come alone. Because if these evil arrows that are fired into the people around us backfired, and they are the only thing you see in them is the Holy Spirit, this place will be a better place. So I want you to make every effort to at least invite two two people. If all of us here will bring two two people, look at this place. Uh, God can enlarge it. It will occupy us or it will contain us. Praise the Lord. The Almighty God will bless us and our blessings of tonight will be part of Jesus. Fire, come and take us for the offering. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for the work you have done in the life of everybody presently here. And in the life of those watching online. Daddy, in the appreciation we have brought the talking unto you, we ask that you accept it in the name of Jesus. We use it for the Lord to seal the prayers of tonight in the name of Jesus. Therefore, we pray. Every arrow that has moved out of our body will be out permanently in the name of Jesus. Arrow of sickness is departed permanently in the name of Jesus. Arrow of hardship is here by departed permanently.